the first thing you're going to do is sit down and make yourself comfortable and be in a comfortable eye level to look through it. Second thing you're going to do is turn it on. And the on switches, on all of these, the on switch is usually on the base somewhere. Okay. The third thing you're going to do is adjust your intensity. So when I walked up to this machine, the light was off. So if I didn't know that, I would think it's broken. So now I have to turn the light on and adjust the intensity. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're gonna do is adjust your eyepieces. So there's two adjustments. The first one is the width, which you just have to set to the correct width for your eyes. And if they're not set to the correct width, then you're not gonna get a three-dimensional view. You're just gonna be seeing with one eye or you'll be seeing a split image. Um, the next thing you need to do is set the diopters. And they should be set to zero for most people. So usually for people with normal vision, setting the diopters on each eye to zero is where you want it to be. All right, so now if one eye is slightly out of focus, then you focus with one eye using the table, and then you focus with the other eye adjusting this so that both eyes will be in focus if you have different focal lengths with each of your eyes. But for the most part, you can just leave it at zero. The next thing is you have the patient sit. And you want the patient's eye level to be at the level of the black dot. So that's where their eyes need to be when they're sitting. And you get their eyes there by adjusting the chin rest up or down using this. So then the next, um, the next step for me is usually I focus the light on their, on their forehead or in between their eyes. You don't want to focus it in their eyes because then you'll blind them. So I focus it. Then I adjust the height of the light using this. And if I want my cobalt blue, I turn that to cobalt blue. adjust the width using this. And that adjusts the width from almost completely round. So what it's doing really is there's like an aperture in there and as you dial that you're closing the aperture and you know decreasing the amount of light that can get through the two slits. So totally open and then super, super skinny. So then the only thing left is operating the table. Actually, there's two things left. Operating the table. So you turn the dial to go up and down. And then you use the joystick obviously to move the light around, all right? And then the last thing is the magnification. So this is a ER version that only has two magnifications. You know, a lot of these will have a dial where there will be five or more magnification settings and you check the magnification by turning the light.
So this is the microscope arm, and this is the light arm. So most of the time they're operated together in the same position. But if you need to identify structures on the front and the back of the cornea or within the anterior chamber or on the front or the back of the lens, then you separate them and the light goes at an angle. And then it gives you, there's a refraction across those surfaces that then gives you two images, one of the front of the, of the uh, surface and one of the back of the surface. So if you're at an angle, first of all, you can look at the surface of the eye without blinding the patient because the light's coming in at an angle. Um, so if you're just looking at the cornea, it's useful for that, but it will also show you the front and back of the cornea and then the, the front and, you know, the depth of the anterior chamber and the front and back of the lens. Okay, the light is generated and travels down through here and then hits a mirror, which then projects the light that way. So what happens if you walk in and find it like this? Well, it means that someone turned this part of it on the top, which gives you a horizontal beam. You'll probably never use that, but you may sit down and find a horizontal beam and not know what to do with that. And this is how you straighten that out again. So there's a, a release lever under here that allows you to adjust the height of the table. And that's it.